I've heard many people say that they're thinking about finding a new career path or starting their own company. I've heard that by many people over many years of any age too. Some people are 20 years old, some people are in their 60s and they're thinking about starting their own company. So it really is regardless of age, finding a new career or starting your own company are really important things. And if you've had them in your mind for a while, it's important to take that leap. So the reason why I'm talking about this now is that a question from Miss Anna Banana. Uh, thanks for the question, I, I really appreciate it. And you're thinking about moving into online marketing or e-commerce, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna read uh, what she wrote. She's worked in gastronomy for approximately 16 years, and she can't stay in there because she's having some knee troubles. She loves food, you know, she'd wanna stay in that realm and she's been traveling for three years. So she wants to start her own business because traveling can keep you busy, but you know, it gets to a point where it, you know, you might lose a sense of purpose and just not really have a lot that pulls at your brain to make you feel like you were having an impact or having a strong purpose, which I, I totally understand. I'm, I'm a traveler too. To be honest, I think it's been roughly around three years. It's been over two and a half years outside of the United States. But I totally understand that. And I have met many people that are travelers who have been traveling a very long time. And, and yeah, they're, they're lost. But they have not tried to find their purpose or some of them don't really want to and some of them just accept that they're, that they're gonna be lost. So I, I do understand what you're saying and I know what you mean. It's hard to explain if you're trying to talk to somebody else, they're like, what, you got the life. You travel, you get to do whatever you want. You get to live life how, on your terms. So what could you ever be upset about? Well, living life without purpose is difficult. And, you know, Miss Santa Banana, I, I don't know if you're religious or not. I'm personally not religious, but I think that a big purpose of religion is to give that sense of purpose. If you don't have religion, for example, like myself, then it's really important to have a purpose, really, really important. If you don't have religion and you don't have a purpose, whew, you can get lost and you can feel really down at times, which, which creates a, a huge challenge. I, I won't dig too much in that front because I, I do want to answer your question about um, you know, how to find a new career path. For online marketing and e-commerce, that, that is exactly what I do. I do digital marketing. So there's a lot of ways to find that career path. And one of them is you, know, you could start your own company in that realm, or you could go work for another company. If you go work for another company, you can learn the skills, and then you can take those and start your own company, or you can just start your own company and immediately start learning the skills. For example, there's a lot of websites like Upwork that you can get on and offer your services, and at the same time, you can talk to friends and family, whoever has their own business, and just say that you are getting into this field and would like to support their growth. Th these are all very low entry point ideas. You know, if you use something like Upwork, you're gonna charge uh, a low rate, right? Someone else might charge a very high rate because they're an expert. You would charge a low rate because <laughs> you're learning. Really, if you really wanna learn, you could offer your services absolutely free. Overall, that's not really just a good <laughs> business idea for long term. But if you really need to learn, then yeah, of course, you can learn for free. If you go work for a company, like a marketing company that you know, is willing to hire you and train you, then you get to get paid to learn. And then while you're learning, you could also start on the side doing e-commerce or you know, marketing on your own. So you said online marketing or e-commerce, and I'm not sure if that means like you want to start an e-commerce company, a product company, or if you actually want to help other people with their e-commerce companies. Either, either one's fine. I think a big purpose and mindset when you're thinking about a career path is what you want to be doing. If you want to do something that you can just make money in, that's, that's okay, but that there is an end point in that. Uh, if you do something that you really enjoy or want to learn more about, then you'll, you'll keep doing it. So like wanting to learn about it is important. If you're actually interested in marketing, that's great. Like you'll, you'll learn a lot there. For me, for example, I really love psychology. 
and I love the mindset. So there's a lot about marketing that's really interesting to me. Plus, understanding the statistical data behind it and why people are clicking, that's very interesting to me. So learning about marketing and then starting a marketing company is great. There's financial benefits too. I absolutely love that. Does that completely satisfy me and make me feel like full inside? <laughs> no, I mean like there are other things in life that I want to do and other areas I want to grow like YouTube, for example. So that's why I'm, I'm trying this area out as well. There's, n there's no reason you can't try it, right? Like if you're interested and you're thinking about it, do you want to wait another 20 years and then say, oh, I wish I would have tried that. Or do you just want to try it? Like go ahead and try it. You don't, you don't have to like it. Like you can tr keep continue to try things in life and figure out what you like and what you don't like. You know, some people do that at an early age, maybe in their 20s and they're going job hopping, do all this stuff really quickly. And they, maybe they figure it out. Some of us get later in life and we haven't done that because job security and job stability and paycheck, you know, stability as well are, are really, really important. So we didn't job hop that much. But then later on in life, you have these things that you want to do. It's still your life. You only live it once. So if you're interested in something, you got to try it. If you don't try it, you're just going to regret it. What's the point? Like it's your life. Why not try something that you're interested in? So yeah, I, I, I don't want to make it too long of a video. I hope that's like an easy start for how to find a new career path. If you're interested in like different areas or different things, that, that's fine too. It's just to, just to try it. There's no reason not to try it. And then for each specific industry or business you're thinking about starting, there's a, there's a unique way to try for that. But the more you start spending time on it, the more you'll figure that out. That could easily be just sitting aside for like 30 minutes or an hour a day and just journaling about it or thinking about it which direction you want to go. If you keep saying, I want to do that thing, you don't sit down and actively put time and effort into it, then more and more time will pass and you'll just keep thinking about it. So actually like sit there with full focus, no distractions, and then actually only use that time to think about what you want to do because that will help the thought get deeper and deeper rather than every once in a while that thought coming in and then it kind of leaves. So I'd really take the time and sit there. And the reason I'm saying this is, you know, we're not having a back and forth conversation you can always have a back and forth conversation in your head, but you can't do that if other people are speaking to you or if you keep having the show going on in the background. You can only have a, a deep conversation with yourself if you disconnect from everything else for a little bit and then have that conversation. And then if you keep coming back to that conversation each day or very often, then you get deeper and deeper and further and further into that conversation. So there's a conversation with yourself to have about exactly the direction you want to go. And if you don't know it right now, which you probably don't, that's totally fine because the more you have that conversation, the more you help yourself figure out exactly the direction to go. I hope that's a good start in helping you find the career path that is right for you. If you have other questions, let me know. Uh, I thought this was cool. I enjoyed doing this. I much prefer answering a question than just sitting down and trying to write or come up with ideas myself. So I really appreciate that. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.